Hello, hello, hello. We're back on Sandy Craft in the lobby. And today we are playing Skag their Skyblock. Now, I will say I have done a bit of work on here beforehand. Um at the if, for me the beginning of Skyblocks, I can't really figure out what to make content for. So I get the bare basics done. And the only reason I have a few million is the market price for keys for vote keys is like five million. So uh, yeah. The reason we have island value is if we go to the shop store, sorry, and look at the materials, gold is the highest one you can buy. So I just went ahead and did that. Now, by the point of the video is let's go to spawn a tutorial. Just like on survival, we are doing a small walk around of each and every command. Now I don't know what's going on here. I think they were stuck. But one command you are going to be really on about is is gen which is the island generator now you would start with the default generator obviously yeah and each amount of value you get be 50 thousand value you would unlock a new generator and as an example is just this is just a basic setup for a generator now another just like survival they have minions whose name is bob <laughs> now there are six options instead of four the six options are minor minions collector minions seller minions Slayer minions, beater minions, and demolition minions. These two are the new ones for Skyblock. We'll constantly mine ores. Fun. And we'll constantly drop TNT as it's located on a timer. It's amazing for auto ore gen uh, generator chambers. Now, I'm not sure what an auto ore generator chamber is. But if you look it up, you'll probably find a video somewhere. The way you deposit island value is through ISD deposit. And then all or insert block amount. Now these are the type of blocks that have a value. Coal blocks have one give one point. Lapis gives two. Redstone gives three. Copper gives six. Given the amount of copper you get per ore, you can get a fair amount of copper. Iron equals twelve. Gold equals twenty-five. Diamond equals a hundred. Emerald blocks equals to 150, and netherite, of course, gives a thousand. As you can tell, I have 8,589 gold blocks, so that is why I have 2,000, 216, the 216,000 island value. Just like every other server inside in Sandycraft, they have the free rank ups. They have building values, which is literally the command I just went over. They have island crystals, which are obtained through island missions, which seems to change every day or every few hours. Yeah, every day. And what you use for uh, the crystals is either island boosters, island bank, which apparently is a thing. Good to know. And and store spawners cost island crystals so to get the good guys you can't just rely on your money 
life in survival where you can just sell you a bunch of keys or something and make bank and then buy a bunch of these and then make bank and XP. No, you have to do missions. Now, if you do co-op, you can have one person constantly be doing missions or whatever throughout the day and make sure to log in. But yeah. Of course, PvP. And a dragon event, which happens in one, every one point one and a half hours. Which is basically the Ender Dragon. Classic lock and unlock chamber. Now, if you um ignore the new the newbie, you can not hear him as yeah. He is not on. But he insisted to be in the call in the top corner. The Oxen House and Kips. Now there is fishing tournaments as well. So there is prio fishing in here. There's still no prio mining, which would be great for the server, but you can only go with so much. And the best thing I found right now is cocoa beans. Because like seven bucks per shifting through here increases growth rate like drastically and yeah that is about all that i got for this video hope you enjoyed and this is going to be fairly shorter but the next video should be some a continuum of the gameplay like expanding building this properly and some people might remember this if they're they've seen one of my older videos Till the next video. Enjoy. No, I know. Till the next video. Now, whatever. Bye.